Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how I do bare metal foil. Not how necessarily how it has to be done, but this is how I do it. And I'm using this 58 Caddy uh, Cadillac um, that I'm building. And it's got quite a bit of chrome, but not difficult chrome, but anyway. I'm going to do a few pieces. So, what do you need? Well, first you got to have a sheet of bare metal foil. Um, I've got this sheet, and the people that shipped it to me had it bent over. You see how it's all messed up in the middle? Yep, it was bent over, but that's okay, whatever. It seems to be okay. So, what you got to have is, like I say, bare, bare metal foil. A, I use two, two different razor knives. I use one with a brand new blade. You have to have a brand new blade for cutting. Uh, I use the one that's not... Uh, as sharp for trying to get the uh, bare metal foil taken off of the off the paper just don't get those too confused also you need a straight edge I had a little measuring straight edge that I cannot find so I'll use this bottle cap opener um, just as long as you have something straight so where would we start on this body um, these these little ribs Got this camera right in front of me. These ribs get chrome or bare metal foil around the fender. All this right here gets foil around the front fender. I've got the uh, the box here, front fender. These vents are going to be very difficult, but it gets here. <clears throat> the this, these, um, but this. Well, I say it's going to be difficult. These little pockets. I don't know. I've never. I'm gonna have to really try hard. Also, I forgot something. We've got to have Q-tips. So let me grab my Q-tips. I'm so prepared. I use a couple of different kind of Q-tips. I've got these really stiff, pointed ones. And then I've got these that are a little softer. They're a little softer, still pointed, a little softer. So, um, those are the ones that I use. So, we'll have those right there. Very important to have something to, it's what they call burnishing your foil. All right, so, these off to the side. First thing I'm going to do is, I think I'll do this rear section right, I'm sorry, this rear section right here. So I'm going to cut a piece. I, I, I overdo it, okay? I'll be honest with you. I am way overboard when it comes to how much do I need. I'm going to put more than enough. This stuff is not that expensive. Um, and I don't have my little measuring thing, so I've got to kind of guesstimate on my cut here, which ain't good. Not when you're doing a tutorial, trying to show people how it's supposed to be done. Make sure you get your brand new blade. Cut her all the way down. Matthew, you waste too much. Well, this is how I do it. And I found that it works best for me to do it that way. A lot of times around the edges of your foil, it's not going to be very sticky. And it's a crapshoot, honestly, on when you get a sheet. Is it any good or not? Because I have had sheets that just weren't any good all right so i'm gonna take this whole piece and i'm going to lay it right over where it's supposed to go press it with my finger to get it started then grab one of your toothpicks tone this down a little and start to press it in all the right places. So this has to, there's the trim around the fender and then this rear portion behind the rear wheel. You can get bare metal foil to flatten out even if you've got a crease in it and you press it hard enough. It, it's, it's pretty good about, it also will rip if you're not careful. 
press around the edges I start to press it's it's it will stretch it's not a lot it's not I mean it will it's it's metal but it will stretch See, if you press around those edges it will start to conform to those edges for you so you can be able to cut it but you'll get some wrinkles but if you'll just keep pressing generally they'll come out this body on this kit is a little thin so it's flexing flexing pretty bad all right so now that you've got your your area pretty much pressed down where it needs to be with that sharp knife what I will do next is I'll always cut out the large open areas first I won't go cut around the edges and then cut that because you've got already got some strength with this outside portion here it's stuck down if you cut and you only have the little lip like say around a window trim or something and you start to cut that center out if you do it this way it doesn't have a lot to hold on to and it can it can move so I always do the big openings first and I know some guys again they very conservative on how much foil they use they would never just put a big piece on here and waste it like this but I just find it easier for me and you could take this center piece here and possibly use it somewhere else if you so cho chose to just like I said it works best for me this way I'm not that great at doing this okay so roll that on your edges there you want to kind of pull down don't just roll forward you'll roll a wrinkle into it so when you're going you need to pull down see I'm pulling down pull down pull down and get that all nice and tucked behind that fender well like so Always make sure you get the right, right knife. All right, and just like that. Get that edge rolled around. So this edge here is going to have. It's going to meet up with the bumper so it just needs to be flush so cut it off flush but make sure you can see all of your edges before you cut anything Dang, I still got the wrong one. I gotta just move this one out of the way. All right. Got a little piece on the corner there. I'm just taking Cut it right off. And again, you'll want to go back and work all of these edges in real well. Okay, so I want to now focus on getting the around this trim off. And you'll simply just take your knife, find the best starting place for you and you can lay it lay that knife right in that trough or that body body line and it generally will follow I do sometimes paint my, my blades black helps you to be able to see a distinguishing color um, when you're doing this but just gently let your knife ride right down 
that body line. And then when you get to a corner, I, ne I try to never take my knife up. Just continue to let it follow that body line. And it sometimes will get away from you. It happens. Just like that. Okay. And right back here, I want to take my knife and just roll it down under here. Now, with this piece that was left hanging, well, it came off. I was going to use it as a little pull. Now I take the dull knife. And I'll grab that and ever so gently start to pull that off. Then you can use your fingers if you've got enough. When you get on these cur on these corners, because you could have moved, you just be really careful. So when you pull off, you don't want a a portion to still be attached and it and it ruin your your uh it pull off your your chrome okay so there's going to be a chrome piece of trim right here so i can just remove this just like so all right now i'll take my q-tip and go along that edge that I just cut because it can be a little jagged actually it, and it, when you're pulling it off it can kind of pull it up so you want to go over it real nice press it down tight inside press and get it oh, there's that air conditioner you guys know I am so well prepared let me turn this off I did silence my phone though. Alright, so around the inside again. Make sure it's all down nice and tight. All of your crevices, corners. Just like so. So there we have a chromed rear quarter and let's grab the bumper and see what it looks like now it's not the same shade this is a uh, this is bare metal foil the original so it's not the same shade as chrome but hey it's what it's going to be so then that goes up against there like that so there we have yeah, there's a definite definite shade difference. You can use an ultra bright. I've tried that stuff and I didn't like it. So we got that. That looks nice. That focused on there so you can actually see it. Looks nice. Okay, now let's do. Let's see. What should I do? Let's. We'll just do this one right here. I'm gonna do the other end to get me a fresh fresh edge let me okay see how long it needs to be this needs to be a real thin piece and it's uh I'm just gonna do this sharp blade Extra long, but that's okay. I'm going to just pull it. Try to get that ridge in the center. I've got one heck of a. See how far back is that good? Oh, that's fine. Okay. So just take your finger. Run it all the way down. 
Take your Q-tip. This will be easy. Q-tip. Run it down. Now, with your sharp blade, I'll tell you what's, what can be tricky. So this point is kind of round. It's not real pointy. So to try and get that right, it can be a pain. Back this chair up here. It can be a pain. So I'll start right where I can see sort of where the kind of point the point starts, although the point's kind of rounded. And then I'll just start right there. And roll it around. Down, down, down you go. All the way off. Just like that. Same thing with this side. Try to find your cut. Where your cut was started. Try to meet up right there. Do the same thing. Get in the groove. And off. And right down here. We want to go across the end where we where the blade went off. We want to go across here. Make sure our cuts are meeting. Now this is tricky because you've got this piece. You're going to pull it off, but you do not want it to start pulling. You want to make really really sure. Okay, see it's 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 not so it's good. Nice and easy. And then right down here at this point. If you there we go. Good. Good deal. And sticky stuff. Alright, so now we're taking press that. very very hard to hide that edge where it was cut try one of these these are um, a, a stiffer tip and now you'll notice there is a door seam here well you, you do notice that it's um, well it's a seam so it needs the chrome would, would actually be two pieces so I generally if I have a nice seam I'll cut that so I just take my knife and just make a single cut right in the center take your little q-tip press it down in there and there when you blackwash your door panel lines it's not going to be black black chrome black you know it will have black down in there so it's a two-piece piece it's a two-piece chrome now so there you go and now this darn thing here I guess I'll try it but I don't know. I might have to use silver paint on that because it's, uh, it's actually it's actually in it. Let me give it a shot. It probably won't work, so I'll go ahead and probably uh, say I'd, I'd, I'd give it a 75% uh, chance that it doesn't work because this stuff's pretty sticky and you have to press it down in the hole. So there we go. We'll try it anyway. And I've also got to go around this. 
So we just lightly put it over top. And now let's take our, let's see if we can get it down in there. I may be wrong. I think I just tore a hole in it. I sure did. See, these are a little stiff. I just tore a hole. Let me do another one. I, I, I was, it was actually looking pretty promising. Got that little spot. Try one of these other Q tips with a little softer tip. I didn't, I've never really done in a piece that goes in. They've always been on the, uh, you know, a, a raised portion of chrome. But that actually looks pretty darn good. Oh, that's so blurry. You guys can't see a darn thing. Get this thing to focus in here. So, no, but the problem is I'm going to have to cut around the outside edge. Wow. Give it a shot, though. Okay. About as good as that's going to get. Now, let's see. See some, see some skills, Matthew. I ain't got no skills. All right, I'm gonna, I've got a magnifying headset. I'm gonna put that on real quick cause I can't see close enough. And I might not, let's see. Let's get so dang close. You guys might not can see it. Back this off a little. If I'm breathing heavy, sorry, my face is right beside the camera. All right, where do I need to start? You know, I think I should do like... Hard to see your hard to see your cuts. Hard to see anything when you're half blind. Anyway, up close at least. Okay, let's see if I can peel this off. It's probably going to peel all of it off. Okay, there we go. I did it. How does it look? Well, okay. I 
I would put a little black wash down in there still. I actually got that. Okay, so you can use bare metal foil down in a hole. This is supposed to be a tutorial and I'm sitting here learning as I'm doing it. So, that's how I do it. Now with these, I will lay I will lay one, let me zoom in and then I'll focus it. I'll lay one piece across those. Burnish it all down. And I'll just go in and cut each one of them out. Yeah, that is going to be a pain. Also, excuse me, also, the little Cadillac symbol that you can't see right there is a, uh, well, I don't know what's with the camera now, but the little Cadillac symbol right there, that's got to be, that'll be foiled. So, same thing. You can use chrome paint, but I don't know if I will or not. And then these uh, ribs on top of the uh, fender there, that will be. Oh, and also I will go around here. But I just want to do a quick video on just showing how I apply it. You can clear coat. Now this is a matter of opinion. Um, you can clear coat over your bare metal foil if you have a clear if you want to clear coat your your model. It's not going to hurt it at all. Um, if anything else, it will hold your bare, bare metal foil in place. Um, this stuff can be uh, bumped, like the corners and things, and it could come up. Um, if you cleared your, you could. Uh, some people say again, it's a matter of opinion. But some people say no, put the foil on over the clear. Some people say no, put the foil on then clear. Um, if you're going to use clear coat, like I say, it doesn't, it won't damage it at all. It, it just, it just glue it on there, really. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching this quick video, kind of a side video from this build. But um, I know people are sometimes interested in knowing how do you do that. Now I will say with this around the perimeter of the, now there is a obviously the chrome windshield starts right at this notch. But all this will be chromed. Now I will not use one big piece. I will cut strips for that because I I'm not going to waste ha literally half a sheet on on those. But yeah, that's how I do it. Um, this front portion here, you could use strips if you wanted. What I find with strips, and this is this is another thing, another reason that I like to use single pieces, especially like on a windshield is when you have a windshield, do I have a car? Oh, well, I do, let me let me have this, borrow this uh, for just an instant. This just happens to be a 1970 uh, GTX. Um, so when you lay it on your windshield, some people put a strip here, strip here, strip here, strip here. Those strips overlap. And what I found, at least with me doing it, is the, you, I can see the overlap, the, uh, the overlapping foil. So what I'll do, I'll cut one big piece. That way, I don't have any overlapping strips. Um, I can also, with that one piece, I can foil in my windshield wipers and all those things. And uh, just cut the, the center portion out. And uh, that's how I prefer to do it. Especially on windshields, front and rears, uh, things like that. Now this would be a pretty big piece because this rear windshield is so big. But, yeah, that's how I do it, guys. So, if you ever were scared to bare metal foil, it's not hard. It's not hard. Um, I use big pieces because it makes it easier for me. The little strips can be finicky. They can be small. Some guys are masterful at it. I'm not, so I just, I just bite the bullet use bigger pieces. Makes it easier for me. But that is my short tutorial on how to use, or how I use, bare metal foil. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like this video. Um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I, I would uh, ask you to go subscribe. And uh, thank you to all of my Patreon supporters, my Facebook supporters, uh, the group, the Facebook group. It's great. Thank you guys for being members of that. Don't forget to go check out Hobby Nut Models, where this gold MCW paint came from. 
Also get you a uh, sheet of bare metal foil while you're over there and some uh, a model kit. Anything else you may need for that. But anyway, guys, I'm out of here. And uh, we'll see you guys later. Maybe on the video where this is getting complete. Talk to you later. See ya.